I'm Stemly Kay, your hostess to the world of STEM, and today I'm here with Sydney, who is a computer science major. So, Sydney, where did you grow up? So, the short answer is I grew up on a plane, and the long answer is I grew up um, in San Jose, and then I went to school in Korea. So, for about 10 years, I flew back and forth, and a lot of my life was spent um, traveling between like Silicon Valley and Seoul. You're now a rising senior at University of Chicago, majoring in computer science. So, I personally have spoken to many girls that don't even know what computer science is. So, could you start off just explaining what it is exactly? So, computer science is more than just programming. I think a lot of people have this misconception that computer science is only about the coding. And really what it is, is learning about computers, like any other science, like the way physics kind of learns about physical laws and biology learns about living organisms, computer science, you learn about computers and you learn about like what works on the inside, how they're made, kind of the modern day practices and uses of them. And I really like a lot of like the theory that goes into um, computer science topics like algorithms or like programming languages and how these very abstract systems work in this machine that we've also built mm -hmm. and it's very interesting to me to think that we built this machine and now we're going to build a science around it and now we're going to have like a school of thought but um that's the gist of what computer science is it's a lot of programming and a lot of concept um and it's kind of like the marriage of practical and abstract and I, I really really like that could you describe what some of the typical classes a computer science major has to take and if you have like what you think is your hardest class or your easiest class and then your most interesting class that you've taken. So the typical path that I've seen computer science majors take at most schools mm -hmm. is there'll be an introductory course, then there'll be either data structures and an algorithms class, and then there'll usually be, depending on your school, like a discrete math class. And then a lot of schools offer different topics of like focus so my school in particular focuses a lot on systems engineering so we learn a lot about caches um computer like computer architecture uh parallel um programming networks all of this very like low level system mm -hmm. stuff um some other schools do it a different way where they'll focus on kind of practical applications so they go into like the buzzwords like machine learning artificial intelligence neural networks um mobile computing and development and all that you know good stuff and so uh, there's really a broad range of classes that you're able to take once you get into college if you're interested in computer science and i think that there's something for everyone many people do say that computer science uh, pursuing it as a major is extremely difficult and I've heard tons of stories of girls and boys who drop out. So could you talk about if you've experienced some of the same feelings and how you've persevered through them? Sure. The bottom line is that computer science is going to be work. Like just like you would go into chemistry or if you went into English, like there's work involved. And you have to be prepared um, to put in that work and put in those hours. And what I'm saying is, like, not that it's going to be super easy because yeah. um, it's not, but it's not going to be impossible either. So to give you some examples, um, I'm a computer science major. I still have time for art. Like, I still have time for art classes and to do art outside right. of classes. I help run a student organization, and I teach middle school girls how to code. And I'm a cheerleader. So, and I have a normal social life. Um, <laughs> it was definitely not impossible. I do have to say, though, that there are definitely times where I've doubted myself, either in class or in the interview process. And for that, I think that it's just really important to find a community where you are or online that supports you and, like, they're your cheerleaders. What that means is that they help you realize your worth and your and appreciate you for what you are when you don't feel like you recognize, like you can recognize it yourself. And those people have been, like, completely invaluable to me. Mm -hmm. um, and I think... At my school where I am, we have a very good set of students, so I am very fortunate in that sense. Have you found that you're one of the only girls pursuing the computer science major at your school? And if you have, how have you become comfortable with that? 
I have to say that at my school, we have a slightly higher than average national, national, we have slightly higher than the national average number of women enrolled in That's computer awesome. science. So the national average is something like 15%. Mm -hmm. And I think we're pretty close to like 20, 22, maybe. So I'm fairly um, happy with that. I, it means that I do know every single girl in my grade who is a CS major. And I really like it because we get to kind of become friends and like, you pass people by and you like know their names and know what classes they've taken. Um, I don't think that I've ever really felt completely alone, but there are definitely been classes where I'm maybe one of like eight girls out of mm -hmm. like 60. Um, and those can feel a little overwhelming, but at the same time, you have eight girlfriends that you can yeah. work and talk to. And so it's really about building the community, whether it's like literally at your school or like online, like I said. Um, I think that that's really important. I think that you just have to accept the fact that sometimes you will stand out and really embrace that. I remember I used to not like that I came in with my hair done and my makeup on. And then yeah. um, now that I've gone to my fourth year, I'm like, I'm going to dress in all pink and I'm going to sit the front in the middle. Yeah. And when everybody knows I came to class and I'm here and I'm answering questions. Um, so that's kind of my take on it. It's like, just don't be so afraid to be yourself. What inspired you to be a computer science major? And what would you say to girls that don't want to go into it because they don't want people to think negatively of them? I really liked computer science because I took a class in high school where I was one of the only girls other than like the teacher and one other student. And a lot of the times I thought that I was less than the boys who came in knowing everything. And then I found out that I really liked programming, I really liked solving puzzles, and I really liked learning how moving parts kind of came together abstractly. So that was one of the reasons why I decided to go into computer science. And for all the girls who are worried about going into computer science and standing out for being, like, the very stereotypical, like, femme-looking girl, like, I really, really strongly implore you to not think of that as the downside. I really want girls to feel comfortable being who they are by themselves. This means like being comfortable with who you are and how you're dressed in a crowd and like when you're on your own. And I think that there are a lot of negative stereotypes that are associated with computer science that were like antisocial and that we have um, certain like uh, personality characteristics that are definitely mm -hmm. not true. I think that it always really shocks people when I tell people I'm a computer science major and I'm a cheerleader and yeah. a normal person. Um, but it just shouldn't, it should just be one of those things that is like, oh, you do do both. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm working to try to make sure that girls, especially younger girls, that's why I mentor middle school girls, um, see that there's a role in the place for them here. I think many girls get concerned of pursuing computer science majors in college because a lot of them don't have previous experience with it so what would you say to someone who is concerned about that and besides the class that you just mentioned you took in high school did you have a lot of experience with it and are there any resources that you would recommend to girls who don't have the opportunity to take a class so while I was very fortunate and my mom being a computer engineer from Ravana strongly encouraged me to take computer classes when I was younger. I think I took HTML and CSS when I was in sixth grade and I was like, very familiar with computer and Adobe products um, when, until I was in eighth grade. I made a game in eighth grade and then um, took a class in high school. For girls who don't have the resources or the um, opportunities to explore computer science before going to college, I think that's perfectly okay. I think that you can go into college and I think that as long as you build yourself a good foundation and the basics and a good support community, you will be able to get through the major. Um, I think that if you are able to grab some resources before getting into college, it'll only make you stronger. So I'm talking about programs like Google CSSI, which is meant for rising seniors, or Goals We Code, which is meant for rising juniors and seniors um, in high school. And I'm I know that there are a bunch of online activities at like code.org and Khan Academy. And I personally, after I took um, AP Computer Science in high school, went on to do like a lot of online courses to teach myself JavaScript and just kind of dabble in languages and like things that I didn't get the chance to learn before going to college. And I feel like just 
constantly wanting to learn really helped me the most when I went to college. I think also a lot of girls don't realize the tremendous applications that computer science has um, to all fields, really, and even just the future, how computer science is going to be such uh, a major topic discussed and more only more jobs are going to open that have to do with it. So could you talk about um, what are some of the advantages or applications of computer science that you've seen personally? Some of the advantages I see um, computer science giving me personally are that I am able to understand how um, a lot of the technology in our lives works and like you have a better understanding of why things are doing the way things that they are and you're able to like better predict problems that may happen in the future. What I'm saying is um, a lot of times people make technology, like technology isn't made by itself. Technology isn't made by itself. And the thing is that we need to make sure that everybody who makes technology is making technology for everybody. And when I, and like an example of that is when um, airbags are first made, uh, the number of women who died in car crashes like went up and no one could really figure out why. And the answer was that they had only tested airbags on men up until that yeah. point. And something like that has happened in technology where we can have voice recognition software and men can build this and then it's given to everybody. And suddenly my phone doesn't register in my voice because it's too high pitched. Mm -hmm. And that, re that leads to a lot of problems. So having a computer science degree no knowledge of technology is really foundational to how we should go around um, the world today with regards to technology and how we should take the responsibility to like make products that suit our needs and really get in there and contribute. Well, I want to thank Sydney for doing this interview today and talking about a college perspective of computer science. And again, I'm Stemly Kay, your hostess to the world of STEM.